All right, take a hundred. Wow, I haven't really made a YouTube video since middle school and those, those, those just, those weren't good at all. How's it going everybody? My name is Logan Turner and welcome to my channel. I'm new to the game, I'm very excited to be doing it and today I'm going to talk to you about why I picked up this, this guy, right, maybe, up, oh, as my first lens purchase. Going through reviews, this seems to be the best lens for your budget. I spent around like $135 for this thing. That's because I bought it off of Amazon and I bought it with things such as indie filters, lens cleaning kit, lens pen, things like that. The thing that I probably like best about this lens is its 1.8 aperture, which means that for a very, very cheap lens, you could take some really decent pictures in low light. Another thing that's really impressive about this lens, and I believe it didn't used to always be like this, is you can actually see that it doesn't have a plastic mount to it. So it has a nice, solid, sturdy metal back, so it stays on your camera nice and secure. As we all know with any Canon lens, it has the AF MF settings on the side. It has really good autofocus. Um, I've already taken a few pictures with this thing. It is giving me some really crisp, really clear edges on my photos. Um, what I'm noticing definitely is the nice bokeh blurred out background that you get when taking photos with this thing. The reason that I went and opted for this lens is because when I started out in photography, I had a very specific niche of what I wanted to do and that was take pictures of promotional pictures of people who needed headshots for either acting gigs or promotional pictures for music or things like that because I knew a lot of people in those scenes and I knew that I was gonna get some nice crisp clean promotional portraits using this lens and pairing it with my new camera body which is the Canon 80D I really believe that this is going to go a long long way into helping me continue my photography career they do have other versions of this lens that are a lot more expensive, but if you're just starting out in photography, getting the cheaper option is definitely a way to go. Um, there's no need to worry about buying the fanciest or the most expensive gear, especially when you're starting out, trust me. I believe I'm going to do a test video, putting up some different images that I take with the Canon 80D. I have a fashion shoot coming up where I'm going to be using the Canon 80D and the 50 millimeter lens together. And until then, I will see you soon. Peace. Need a better system. I need a damn tripod. Shit. That, did, did you even, what, how do I, how do I stop this? How, what, oh, wait. Oh. Wrong button.